Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back. For this video we will look at weapons, all sorts of them. We'll look at their bullet drop, we will look at recoil and yeah, I hope you enjoy it and you learn something useful. So, oh, what do we have here? Um, I've made a little kind of a gun range. Um, you should now see some fancy 3D graphic. Okay, here we see the whole uh, grid layout of the shooting range and one checkerboard thingy is one platform and I tried to compare it to a human male uh, figure which is about 1.8 meters and so the platform would be about 3 times 3 meters which sounds kind of reasonable so I went from there. So if we take this and see that the first sector has 10 platforms which equals 30 meters and here we see the rest of the range. Um, the last sector is a little bit shorter, so it's only 21 meters. Um, here are all the targets, and we will mainly shooting at targets 1, 2 and 3, which are from where we are standing right now, at 33 meters, 90 meters and 150 meters. At the very end we will also sh uh, be shooting at the 7th target at 321 meters, but yeah, that's quite far off and we won't be needing it very often. So, I will be displaying a small overlay of this graphic throughout the whole video, so you don't have to remember all the numbers. Okay, let's go! So, for the purpose of this video, I created this uh, dedicated server on my local PC, so I can give me just all the weapons and can do all my tests without someone disturbing me. What you see here is our layout of weapons. We have the bow, we have the Eoka pistol, we have the revolver, we have the water pipe shotgun, pump shotgun, Thompson, the assault rifle and the boat action rifle. We will now try to hit these two windows. This is the first one, this is the second one, and later on we will try to hit some, one, uh, some of these that are further down, but yeah, the, these are far away. So we will test with these two. So first up is the bow. Let's try to hit the window head on and see what happens. Okay, as you can see here, the bullet drop, uh, bullet drop of the bow is quite substantial. Um, the distance is not that far away from the start, and you have to really aim up a little bit more to hit this target, so I will do that now. There we go. And it was even not high enough. I will go even higher. Yeah, that's better. But but you see the bullet drop is really rough and these um, spheres here indicate a hit and yeah the effective range for the bow is I would say about here so it's really not not far. Let's try to hit the second target that's very far away. I will aim very high for this. Uh, not high enough, even higher. There we go. Okay, you see the, b the arrow is flying really long and at this distance it's nearly impossible to hit someone, accurately at least. But it is possible. Let's he head to the next one. The next one is the Eoka pistol. Um, it's not very loved because it's quite inaccurate. You will see in a second. I will just fire some shots and let's see what happens. I 
I try to aim at the same point every time and yeah this is beyond useful. The bullet drop is not that bad surprisingly. Um, you could hit the targets that's kind of far away but it's just impossible to aim quite accurately. So I got some lucky shots here through the window but all in all yeah the Oka pistol is not used very much. Let's try the revolver. Let's get this window up. Yeah, as you see the revolver is performing a lot better. And this window is qu quite a distance away, so I try to aim at the center of the window and the bullet drop is not very significant. So yeah, the revolver is a quite accurate and good weapon. Let's hit this nearer window and let's see what happens there. For the people um, not knowing this effect here, where I can trace the bullets, it's just a console command and I will show it to you now. And yeah, it just shows where the bullet goes and if it hits something and so on. So, going back to our target. Yeah, this is quite a good spread. That's, that's, that's nice. You can really hit someone at that range very accurately. Let's see what the pipe shotgun does. Let's go to the second target first. Oh. <laughs> it kind of looks like a Yoko pistol firing a lot of shots at once. My FPS is dropping now a little bit. This is a little bit extensive. So, as you can see, this shotgun is really for close quarter combat. Um, it's not really usable outside. Even at the short range. Um, I think if I can remember correctly that one pellet um, does 15 damage. So you can harm people at this range and of course further down it's quite harder to hit someone. So keep that in mind if you're using the pipe shotgun. Let's see with the near target if we can get, a, if we can get some shots in there. Yeah, accuracy is something different. I got some shots in there, but it was, yeah, more than luck. <laughs> Let's see the new weapon, the pump action shotgun. You see the spread is not a lot better than the other shotgun, but it is. If you see here on the right the pipe shotgun, on the left the pump action shotgun, it's a little bit better. Not much, but a little bit. And of course the reload time is uh, reduced and it just looks way cooler. So I'm seeing that it's getting dark. I will pause the video here and we'll continue in the morning. And we're back. The wonders of editing. So, next up, the Thompson, it's a uh, 9mm, and let's see. I will go for a single shot first, and then we will see the recoil and the bullet drop if I go full gear. So, as expected, it did quite good. I uh, aimed at the center and every shot got there. Bullet drop. For the second window should be more of a concern, so we will try that now. Okay, here we go. I will try to aim at the center again. Oh, got a 
a double shot up there. Yeah, you see, you have to do a little bit of an adjustment to get there accurately, kind of accurately. So I will try to aim a little bit of higher and counteract the bullet drop. This should, this should do. Uh, yeah, a little bit less, maybe. So let's see how we did. Yeah, all the first shots went into the wall. You see the spheres impact, and the other ones were better. But as you can see, accuracy is, is an issue. We are getting there, so this distance is not ideal for the Thompson. Um, I, I would assume it's more of a mid-range um, gun with automatic fire. So let's try. Let's try first giving out some bursts, and then we go full auto. So let's do three bursts. Okay, not that bad. Um, what you didn't uh, see though was that I pulled my mouse down while I was shooting to counteract the recoil. Um, I will show it to you here now. I will not do anything with my mouse except pressing the left button and let it shoot a little bit. So as you can see the gun kind of goes upwards and to counteract that you have to push your mouse down a little bit. Um, you will get a feeling for that and let's see if we can get yeah some full auto shots in there. Yeah, okay, it's it's not that bad. I'm recording and the yeah, FPS are dropping a little bit because of all the uh, tracing, but it's good. So I would assume if the FPS are better, you can get a really nice spread here. So this distance is ideal for the Thompson. That's great. So let's see what the uh, assault rifle is doing. Let's head straight for a second target. I will begin with single shots again. Ah, uh, yeah, that feels great. As you can see, the recoil is much lower. I can fire much faster in single shot mode. So, yeah, the assault rifle is the king. <laughs> We've seen before that the Thompson, as it was aiming at the center of the window, was hitting the lower wall. And the uh, assault rifle is, is getting there. The bullet drop is a little bit, but I mean, that's, that's quite a distance, and that is a non-moving target, so that's, yeah, helping. So, yeah, that's nice. Let's go for the shorter target, and see what we can do there. I mean, the Thompson is still great for that, uh, for that distance, the 9mm uh, bullets are also a little bit on the cheaper side, and you can get the blueprint way faster for the bullets for the 9mm. So let's see. Yeah, you can really go there. Yeah, that's nice. So at this distance, you can hit the target very accurately. That, that's no problem at all. And I will show you now the assault rifle recoil. As before, I won't move my, mouth, uh, move my mouse at all. I will just press the left mouse button and let it do its thing. Let's see what it does. Yeah, that's interesting. The Thompson got a little bit on the left side and little, did a little bit of an arc. And the assault rifle kind of went just straight up. So that's even easier to counterbalance. You just have to... Pull your mouse down a little bit um, while you're shooting, but as always, burst fire or single fire shots are better. But yeah, let's see if we can get some full auto shots in there. Okay. 
Okay, I will wait for the other lines to despawn. Uh, I'm quite low on the FPS side at the moment. So, see you in a bit. Okay, let's see what we can do. Ah, oh, I forgot to enter the command, sorry. There we go. And once again. Yeah. I don't know why, but I'm having a little bit of an FPS issue. But you can see where this is going. This is damage. But as I said before, single shot or burst fire with two or three shots is recommended just for accuracy. Yeah, that's nice. So, for this weapon, let's go one target further. Mm -hmm, okay, a little bit higher. Mm, a little bit higher, even more. Let's go for the top line here. Yeah, that's it. So, as you can see, I mean, that's some distance. If you imagine that this target would be moving, uh, yeah, good luck hitting that. I, I can't. <laughs> but you can get the bullet there. And as far as I know, the distance the bullet travels uh, has no impact on damage it does. So this would still do quite a good damage if you can hit it. So as you can see, the assault rifle is a beast and the Thompson is also great so th these are just the three top weapons I have here the Thompson the assault rifle and the bolt action rifle and let's see what the bolt action rifle can do bolt action means you have to reload it after each shot and or at least do something after each shot not essentially reloading but yeah yeah you see it's slow, but it's accurate. I won't do a recoil test here because it's yeah, it's not an automatic weapon. But you see, the bullet spread is quite nice. Uh, bullet drop, I would assume, is the same as the assault rifle. Maybe even a little bit more. So I will test this now. Let's take back the assault rifle and fire two shots here in the window just to see the comparison. Because they take the same ammunition, so... Okay, kind of went for the same target. And yeah, these went farther, so the bolt action rifle has more bullet drop than the assault rifle. Didn't think that. Okay. So let's go for the second target. Yeah, that's it. That's nice. So at this distance also quite nice accuracy. And let's go for the third one. I will begin with the top line because that's what that was the line I went with the assault rifle. Yeah, that went straight through. So let's have a look. On the bottom left you see my FPS graph. Um, it's a little bit on the low end, I'm not used to that, but maybe it's the server software running in the background. Maybe I'm having a little bit too many programs open and also the recording software and everything together is FPS drop. So, as you can see, that's nice. And here, yeah, I, I didn't went far enough. I had to aim a little bit higher, but it's hard to tell. Yeah, that went through here. Oh, I didn't even hit the target. Shame on me. So, as we have seen, the assault rifle has the best accuracy, has the least bullet drop. The Thompson shoots a little bit faster. And bolt action rifle is just... Um, 
the air, reloading assault rifle with a little bit more uh, bullet, bullet drop. A little bit more. So, and also as you can see, I didn't shoot anything uh, off video, so everything we shot here is represented with the green bars, so the, uh, the, um, the durability is going quite fast. So th this is another reason that you should prefer single shot or burst damage compared to full auto. Okay, there is this master target. This is really, really, really far away. Just imagine standing a person in this window and I would just try to hit it and we will trace the bullets. Oh boy. Uh, it's hard to tell. Nah, I'm not, not high enough. Let's go for this branch here of the palm. Maybe that's enough. Uh, let's have a look. It's really hard to tell. And all oh, the traces are already vanishing. So this were the top palm leaf. It was even a little bit too far. And you can see here you can get a very lucky shot off. So this I mean there's a red town. You could possibly see someone running there and you just go crazy with the bullet drop and just try to hit someone. So this would make for a nice video. I think these hit the wall. So yeah, post me a video if you see someone with one of those magic shots. I mean, I, ca I can't even see the target. Imagine one running here and... yeah. Congratulations, you made it to the end. Feedback is always most appreciated, so let me know in the comments if you enjoyed the video. And maybe leave a like if you want. I have some really nice ideas for the future, so don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Again, thanks for watching and until next time.